Since the federal government mandated returning air travelers to quarantine in a hotel, some Canadians have found another way to get home without doing it. Nobody wants to go to a quarantine hotel in Canada, no. Actually, my Uber driver told me that I was his seventh uh, trip to the border today. Today at the Rainbow Bridge in Niagara Falls, plenty of vehicle and foot traffic cross the border and are able to head straight home. Ryan Bamdad, a Canadian who lives in Fort Lauderdale, says there are no connecting flights to Toronto and flies into Buffalo. Just simple. No problem like always. But now the Ford government wants stricter measures to this method of arrival, calling on the Trudeau government to issue a three-day hotel quarantine for land crossings as well. As long as these massive loopholes exist, we're not safe from these new variants. Variant spread continues to ravage Ontario, increasing pressure in its hospital systems. Many cases are coming in through international travel, and traffic is concerning Premier Doug Ford. In the last two weeks, 150,000 people came through our land borders in Canada. Land travelers are not required to quarantine in a hotel, but the federal government says that they must show proof that they've tested negative for COVID-19 three times. There is a fundamental difference between someone arriving on connecting flights from uh, anywhere around the world at our airports. Arriving land travelers must bring one negative result in the last 72 hours, complete another one at the border, and then they are required to test once again on the eighth day of their 14-day quarantine. The Ford government is also calling on Ottawa to suspend the arrival of international students. Jason Guidola, CHCH News, Niagara Falls.